Hi, I'm Kendra with Where's Moon Astrology, and today I'm talking about Aries and Aquarius compatibility. Now, Aries is cardinal fire, and Aquarius is fixed air. So these are sextile signs, meaning this already shows pretty decent compatibility because they're in uh, yang signs. They're both in yang signs. Now, the sextile indicates room for growth, so it's not going to be this totally effortless compatibility like with the trine, you know, Aries and Leo or Aries and Sagittarius, but it is very, um, there is a lot of compatibility indicated here and a lot of potential for the relationship. Now, I've already said that um, sextiles are pretty much my favorite aspect between two planets, um, be either in the natal or um, in synastry. And it's because it just, it indicates just enough tension, tension to keep things interesting but it doesn't indicate so much tension that you're constantly at odds with one another. So it's it's a great dynamic um, to induce growth. Anyone who knows me and Aries for any length of time, um, one of the first things that I will tell you if we're both interested in astrology and we are having a conversation is that I have a major soft spot for Aquarius. I have I love them. They, they come into my life constantly. <laughs> Aquarius is just a sign that I attract very easily. Um, in friendships, in romance. I just love Aquarius. Some of my best friends are Aquarius. Um, you know, I've dated a couple Aquarius. It's just an energy that I'm really attracted to. And I, it's usually mutual. Um, Aquarius and Aries, I have noticed, they pretty much just love each other. They are a pair that just really is attracted to each other. And this is pretty much, this is, this is pretty much something that is a trend, um, Aries and Aquarius being attracted to one another. And um, I kind of wonder why sometimes, because Aries is a very passionate, expressive kind of, you know, it's the child of the Zodiac, so it can be a little bit unhinged at times. And then Aquarius is very cool, kind of detached, a little bit aloof. Um, so you kind of wonder, like, what's the attraction here? And I think I kind of figured it out. Um, <laughs> Aquarius is kind of the natural scientist of the Zodiac. So they tend to look at all their interactions as kind of almost like a scientific experiment. Um, they kind of, you get the vibe a lot of times with Aquarius that they are um, new earthlings, and they don't really know what they're doing here, and they're kind of trying to observe um, people around them. They're trying to observe human dynamics, and they're trying to observe humans in general in order to figure out, like, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Because I'm not from here. You know, um, that's why people call Aquarius, like, aliens, and they say that Aquarius is associated with aliens and things like that. So Aquarius kind of approaches people, um, as an experiment, their relationships kind of as an experiment and the people in their lives as something to be observed. Um, and Aries gives them a lot to observe. Aries is the child of the Zodiac. Once again, our behavior can be a little bit temperamental, um, very impulsive. Uh, it's very raw expression of humanity. So being that Aries is this raw expression of humanity, this raw expression of um, human nature, um, that is kind of like the ultimate science experiment for Aquarius. It's kind of like, okay, this is the ultimate raw expression of human, and I'm fascinated by it. <laughs> like kind of um, like a test subject, sort of. Um, but it's it's like an attraction too and as for aries and uh loving aquarius uh aries loves a challenge aries loves a challenge and aquarius gives them a challenge they give them something to think about they give them something to uh maybe chase i've never really had to chase an aquarius but um you know it, they don't they're not needy aquarius is not a needy sign so that alone makes Aries more compelled to want to be around them because Aries can get very frustrated by neediness and clinginess. Um, the Aries is just very self-focused, and so we need more alone time than a lot of a lot of people. Um, 
we need to have our individuality and our space respected. That doesn't mean we don't want to spend a lot of time with a partner, but we do need our independence. Um, and we just kind of want a simple relationship without a lot of demands, a lot of insecurity, clinginess. And Aquarius naturally gives us that. Um, in my relationships with Aquarius men, it has always been a dynamic to where things are just very easy between us because neither one of us require a whole lot from the other. Um, I don't think Aquarius is super, super turned off by neediness. It's just not something they really vibe with. Aries is more like uh, abrasively like, no, do not do not mess with me with, with uh, the clinginess. It can be a little bit more repelling for Aries. But Aquarius just doesn't really vibe with clinginess. It's not part of their whole deal at all. So Aquarius likes that Aries respects their space and Aries likes that Aquarius respects their space, but there's this, still this mutual attraction that keeps them coming back together anyway. Um, it's just, I really love, I really love this astrological pairing. I just really, really do. And I can't, I can't help it. Also in any air and fire dynamic, as I've discussed in the Aries and Gemini and the Aries and Libra videos, um, air fuels fire. Air grows fire. It feeds it. So anytime you've got air and fire together in a relationship, it's like the wind beneath my wings. It's like just a really hype dynamic. You know, they make me hyper. I make them hyper. We just have really good banter back and forth. It's just such a fun dynamic anytime I'm with any air sign, but Aquarius in particular. Um, I just love their humor. I love their uniqueness. Um, so many things to love. Um, just so many things to love about Aquarius. Um, some of the pitfalls, I think, with Aries and Aquarius is that they kind of vacillate, um, especially, you know, if either one has more emotional signs, they can kind of vacillate between clinginess and, um, you know, this overt independence. And there can be a little bit of a... Um, a weird dynamic in this way. And I'll describe this a little more. Um, in my relationship, uh, a more recent relationship with an Aquarius male, there was something um, that I did that he did not like. He did not like this thing. Um, he had said he was okay with me doing this thing, uh, yet at some point that changed and he never told me. He didn't really communicate his feelings. Now, Aquarius, this is not an emotionally expressive sign. Um, so he just didn't say anything about it until one day his feelings about it kind of erupted in this um, explosion and sort of started the beginning of the end of our relationship. Um, he just didn't communicate his feelings very well. Now, neither one of these are gonna be very touchy-feely signs, but they both do need to value emotional expression enough to communicate with one another. Now, because Aquarius is so detached emotionally sometimes, um, they I don't even think it's the de emotional detachment as much as it is not knowing how to adequately express their emotions. It's not natural for them at all. They have them, but it's very hard for them to communicate them more than other signs. So I think that was a huge problem with us is that, uh, you know, he, he, him being an Aquarius and not really knowing how to express his feelings in that way, um, kind of was the beginning of the end of us. Another downfall of this pairing is that both Aries and Aquarius are going to do whatever it is that they want to do. Um, they're both very headstrong signs. Aries is extremely fiery and willful in, um, their expression and Aquarius just does whatever they want. And uh, I mean, they both just do whatever they want. Um, and as long as they want each other, that's good. <laughs> but um, if they want their way more than they want each other, um, then that can go very badly. Um, for instance, when I found out that this Aquarius male did not like that I was doing this thing, I was not willing to stop doing that thing. I tried to negotiate. I tried to explain why I wanted to continue doing this thing. Um, and 
I, I just wasn't willing to relent. It was more important to me that I, you know, asserted my individuality than that I compromised in that relationship. And I did try to be diplomatic about it and to be fair. Um, but in the end, it was my way that I wanted more than that relationship. Not, not more than the relationship, but more than compromise within the relationship. Um, and on his part, uh, he was going to do whatever he wanted to do in order to deal with those feelings. And it was very self-destructive and it was um, a negative, it was a negative decision. He ended up, again, he had that kind of outburst and started reverting to self-destructive habits. Um, and and uh, I couldn't do anything to stop him because he's going to do what he wants to do and I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, so very, very independent and a little bit of clinginess uh, <laughs> and, and like, you know, maybe um, a yang sign and a yang, yin sign that can be more conducive to uh, a little more compromise. But because these are both such headstrong, independent signs, um, that that can be that can be kind of the downfall of the relationship in that way. Um, and of course, you know, anytime you have air and fire, uh, it doesn't just, it, it feeds the flames, right? You know, air feeds fire's flames, but that's not always a good thing because the flames can also be rage. It's not just going to be passion, it's going to be rage, it's going to be um, anger. Um, it, it can just be, can be kind of destructive in that way. Then again, uh, you have Aquarius, which is fixed air. That means fixed ideas, fixed way of thinking, um, my way or the highway kind of thing. So when he came to me with um, this, you know, feeling, when he did express his feelings after the explosion, um, it was like, you know, this has to change. And Aries doesn't like to be told what to do. So it's, it's funny because you wouldn't really expect this kind of behavior from Aquarius, but they are about those fixed ideas. So when they think, They've got something going on in their mind. It can just play in a loop. Um, it's, it's fixed ideas. It's just like holding on to something mentally and going over it and going over it. Um, so that can be another downfall of Aries and Aquarius. Um, so really overall, this is a really wonderful dynamic and this pairing can be very attracted to each other. But Unless you have some signs or something going on in that relationship that can really anchor it and make it um, more stabilized, you know, if, you know, a lot of planets in Earth or water, uh, you know, Earth would be better for stabilization, water would be better for um, emotional expression. Um, but without those things, this pairing can be much too headstrong and, uh, you know, independent to really deal with each other in a healthy way. Um, so it's just, these are just gonna be important things to remember. I definitely think this pairing has so much potential um, and again, so much attraction between each other. It's just, it's important to remember um, that, you know, you have to compromise. <laughs> Sometimes I don't regret anything ever because I believe that everything is for a reason and I'm not doing anything psychopathic or anything, but I believe everything that happen, happens for a reason. But sometimes I think if I had compromised, that relationship could have worked. Um, and me compromising with him may have been an indication to him that he could compromise as well and that we were going to work together. But I kind of sent the signal with my behavior that I was not going to compromise with him at all. And uh, again, I don't regret anything. I never regret anything. Because um, I really genuinely believe that from a higher perspective, it's all meant to be. But that would be something to remember. If you ever want to get involved with an Aquarius as an Aries or an, uh, an Aries as an Aquarius. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more information about the dynamic between you and your partner, um, on a more personal level, um, I will be leaving the link to my store in the description of this video where you can purchase a relationship reading. And I actually now have many relationship readings. So this would be just kind of like 
um, relationship highlights, things that stand out to me about your relationship, um, the tightest aspects, you know, things like that, things that are going to be really highlighted in that relationship and the overall dynamic. So I'd just be a mini reading, um, give you kind of a taste of the overall, you know, the fl overall flavor of that relationship. Again, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and have a great day.